You will hear people in the spiritual community talking about gratitude all the time. And there's a reason for this, but can you have too much gratitude? Well, that depends on if you really understand what people, spiritual people mean by gratitude. And that's what I wanna talk about today. First of all, welcome back to another video. I'm Ann Blackwood, your Silicon Valley Sage Sister, here to bring consciousness to the forefront of your daily life to make life a little kinder and simpler. So, can you have too much gratitude? Well, technically no, but all too often, we as human beings in life, whether you're spiritually centered or not, have a tendency to put the things that we really want up on a pedestal. And we can do this with things that we have and we can do this with things that we don't have. And we end up smothering the things that we want most in our lives, whether they're already there or not, with <laughs> appreciation and that actually repels the things that we want. And that's why I started this all with the idea of you can have too much gratitude because there is a difference between holding appreciation for something while having a healthy balance of detachment from it and like really, really smothering something in appreciation. And at that point, it's no longer gratitude. At that point, you are perpetuating, you are resonating, you are vibrating the same energy that you would be if you were taking it for granted or acknowledging that you were lacking it and that's not what you want. When it comes to attracting things into your life that you want to stick you want to have stick around, when it comes to keeping things in your life that you want to stick around, there has to be a healthy amount of detachment from the outcome from the situation as there is the healthy amount of appreciation. You've got to have a balance of both in order to have a healthy vibration to have a healthy mindset when it comes to the things that we want to keep around in our lives i once had someone ask me if the person that you were with just left just up and left tomorrow how would you feel about that and i was like well you know honestly i yeah it would it would suck but i would be okay with that and the reason why is because I know that no matter what, no matter what I have in my life, person, thing, I'm going to be okay because I've got me. And that comes first and foremost. And that's why, especially when it comes to uh, learning the spiritual way of life, the first things you're taught are how to appreciate yourself, get your love from within, get your worth from within, above all else. Because when it comes down to it, everything comes and goes. Everything's changing and growing. And someone you love could get into a car accident tomorrow and die and you'd have no control over it. And the healthy, happy way to be, even though you will be sad for a time, is to be, though you love them dearly, though you may love them more than anything in this world, the healthy way to be is to keep going. And that involves, for lack of a better way of putting it, a little bit of detachment. 
people wonder why, you know, the people who take things for granted more often get the things that they don't even want when the people who really want them want them and want them desperately. And that's because energetically, you you have to you have to have a certain amount of a lack of concern for whether or not you have it in your life in order to it be attracted to you. Think about it this way. If, well, think about it. <laughs> Rewind. Think about it this way. Think about the stereotypical trope of girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it might be. You've got that smothering partner who just loves you so much, wants to be around you so much to the point where like you're around that person so much and they're on top of you all the time and they're giving you the love all the time so much that they, they, they literally smother you to death with love. Like we can get too much love. We can get too much appreciation. Like Elvira in, or Elmira rather. Uh, yeah, Elmira in the Looney Tunes, you know, I'm gonna love you and hug you and squeeze you to pieces. She would do that with the animals. Like there is a healthy amount of distance between you and anything you love, between you and anything you want that can still be you having it without it being, you know, smothered in your grip at all times. And this is the key to finding that healthy amount of gratitude in your life, especially when you're trying to manifest or attract things into your life to get, as I said, the most out of life. We get this idea in our heads that we have to want, 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 want it, want, want, want it, want it, want it, want it, want it, want it. I've got to tell the universe I need it so bad. But that's only step one. The next step, like your wish that you make when you blow out the candles at, at, at off your birthday cake, you're letting it go. And you literally have to find other things to do other than think about the fact that you want or need that thing in order to attract it. Because the moment you tell the universe that you are meant to have something. It happens. It happens in the spiritual, on the spiritual plane. But the next step is bringing it and materializing it on earth. And in order to do that, you've got to let go of the fact that you want it. You've got to distract yourself from the fact that you want it so that you can literally get it out of your head because like someone who's being smothered to death with appreciation there's a point where that that no longer feels like love that no longer feels like love that ends up feeling like this weird codependent ugh, neediness and the universe like anybody doesn't doesn't like that because basically at the end of the day you're still telling the universe you don't have it even if you have it like that's the funny thing is like you can continue to have something in your life but you're like pushing it away more and more because you've got too much gratitude for it too much appreciation for it that the universe is slowly pulling it away from you even though you think you're doing the right thing because you think you're like but i'm telling you i appreciate this yeah well you're telling me too much i'm hearing it too much and i'm sick of hearing it like because in the the grand scheme of things at the end of the day the universe we we are the universe and the universe is us it's all a reflection of each other. And so when it comes to 
whether you super believe in manifesting your magic or the law of attraction or not, like this is just, these are laws of nature. This is just how the world works. And when it comes down to it, the way the world works is that if you really want something, you, you, you have to have a healthy amount of detachment from it. So if the person that I've been with for the better part of 17 years walked out tomorrow, yeah, it would suck. It would suck a lot and I would never want that to happen. But if it happened, I know that I would be okay. I know I would be okay. Yeah, it would, it would suck. It would suck a lot, but I would never say it would be the end of the world because A, it wouldn't be. And unless I took my own life, it wouldn't be the end of my world. And you know, at the end of the day, the only thing that's in our control is us is how we are, is how we think, is how we be. So learning to understand that the only thing you can control is you and just work on that and stop worrying about controlling everything else, that, that is where you wanna be with your gratitude being grateful for what comes, being grateful for what goes, and being grateful that day by day, you at least learn to control yourself because that's all you have to control anyway. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for another video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. May the energies you serve serve you well. And let's keep making our way through.